Hello YouTube, this is Dark Emissary 617 and this is my review for the Disney Funko Pop of The Evil Witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So, uh, let's just get a good look at that box first. She is number 347 in the Disney line. And you can see there's the good old evil witch, simply t named The Witch, just Witch, from Snow White. Anyone who has seen the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarves movie, the witch is actually the evil queen who used a special potion to turn herself into the witch so that she could trick Snow White into taking the poison apple. And you see, there's even the Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarves um, sticker there. Or like, not even a sticker, it's like on the box. And it shows it's been 80 years already since... It's so nice that they finally decided to make pops from this whole thing, because for a while, the only pops they made from Snow White was, uh, the Evil Queen, which I do intend to get one day, um, Snow White herself, and they only made Grumpy for some reason. That means they didn't make characters like Doc or Bashful or even Dopey, who you think Dopey would be the first to be made. But nope, they didn't. But at least on the plus side, it shows on the back of it. It shows the Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarves logo. And on the back, you can see there's the newer Snow White pop. And that one is holding on to the blue bird that she has since she sings and attracts animals to her. And you can see they made all Seven Dwarves finally. And Grumpy looks much better than that first Grumpy pop, I'll tell you that much. And then there are all the others there. And they look very nice. I have no idea if I'm ever going to get all the dwarves, but if I were a Disney collector that went all the way, I would definitely say you should, because I can highly guarantee they'll gain value over time. The original Grumpy already goes for a lot of money, so all seven will surely gain value over time. And if that wasn't enough convincing for you, Dopey even has a chase version, so definitely keep an eye on that. So anyways, let's go take a good look at the Mean Old Witch, who is the first Disney villain in the official Disney Classics line of the official Disney movies. As you can see here, she looks very good. She has the little green wart on her nose. She has a very old wrinkly nose and wrinkles all over her face. She has some nice eyeshadow. The green just faded all over her around her eyes. The black eyes look very menacing with that green eyeshadow just fading in the sockets there. It kind of goes inward, which is very cool. Her eyebrows are very nice and menacing looking. She has an open mouth there. You can see her tongue and her mouth. And you even see her one tooth. And her hands look very old. She kind of gives this old, almost like, a, I guess you could say like an Emperor Palpatine look from Star Wars, kind of. And she's holding on to the poison apple that is like having the green oozing down, poison oozing down like a skull, almost like making the poison apple almost look like a pumpkin, I guess. And it just looks like a very nice pop. Her robe has very wrinkly and very old looking, which looks very nice. And you can see her old hag hair just poking out of the hood, which looks very cool. And she has no feet, it's just a little hood, it's just the robe going down as one single solid plastic bit to help her stand up. And here's how she looks on the back and on the sides, and she just looks so neat, like... I knew I had to add her to my Disney rogues gallery because she was the first Disney villain in the official movies, so it's very nice to finally have her. I do in intend to get the original version of her, the Evil Queen, because that one still goes cheap, and I should, because I would love to add her younger self as well. So, maybe one day I'll show you off my full Disney Rogues Gallery list, because I was wanting to collect all of the Disney villains, because I've had this dream of having a dream team of Disney villains all band together, and uh, have Pete from Kingdom Hearts 2, which I do have him, and just have them all together. Almost make it like a cool a rogues gallery. Just kind of all lined up together like a council team of the villains. Which is very cool. Also kind of reminds me of House of Villains. A special from House of Mouse cartoon. So, anyways, do I recommend this pop? Definitely, you should. Disney fans probably were waiting for her for a while as well as the dwarves. 
and she'll definitely gain value over time. So that's been my review for the Snow White Disney Funko Pop The Witch, and this is Dark and Mysterious 617 signing out.